Hello there, everybody. This is Seawalk the Platinum One here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, a load of stuff happened. We made it back to Colony 6 with Shulk still unconscious, and Fior has gone off somewhere to get some air. After all that's happened. And, yeah, Melia, again, has still remained to be a strong sort of face after the fact of what happened in the last one. So... According to the arrow, she is over there getting some air, so we might as well have a little bit of a chat with Fior, wouldn't you say? I know you would, and it's incredibly sweet, so I'm gonna shut up for now. Fiora, are you all right? Guess I wasn't hiding it well. I... didn't want to worry anyone. It must be difficult living with that body. I'm getting more and more used to it. But people still look at me funny. Oh, it's not that bad. It... feels pretty comfortable, actually. I don't need to worry about food or anything like that. I see. This body... The energy from the chest component made it work. It turned out to be a monado. <laughs> Such a strange feeling. A monado? Was that the monado that Zanza took from Maynus? Will your body cease to function? I'll be fine for now. There's still some stored energy left. But then what? Melia, if I ever... Please take care of Shulk. Don't talk like that! How can you ask me such a thing? I... I'm sorry. There's no need to apologize. You're right. Thank you, Melia. If Shulk awakes, will you tell him? No. He worries too much anyway. <laughs> he does worry. It's just like him. Actually, I'm already dead. I have been since the Mechon attacked. Fiora. But I'm happy now. This body has given me the chance to live. Maybe I don't have much time left. But at least I can be with Shulk for a little while longer. Do you feel that strongly for him? Yes. That's why I'll fight on, and help him in any way I can. Let's get back. Everyone will start worrying. Yes. You are right. And Melia. Can you keep it secret from the others? You do not want them to worry. I admire your strength. Maybe I'll tell him, but only when the time is right. I won't say a word. I'm nothing compared to her. Fiora, let's hurry back. Okay. That siren. Is that? Telethia! A horde of them are approaching! Let's move! Gotcha! I'm going too! But Shulk needs you! I know! But I can't just stay here! What if something happened to you? What would I tell Shulk when he wakes up? Fiora, are you sure? <laughs> Lots of Dino Beast! Look, it's him! 
So he survived. Dixon! That's right. Glad to see me. Shut up! <laughs> Looks like that high end tier's big bro died for nothing. <laughs> oh, don't be like that. You'll meet him soon enough. You might even be reborn if you return to Lord Zanza. Who knows? He might be your boyfriend in the next life. You will not mock the memory of my brother! You lot don't know when you're beaten. Why don't you just give up? It's my decision. In order to perpetuate their existence, Zanza and Mayneth must use a being they created as a physical host. They cannot exist forever as mere souls. This world was created so that they may continue to exist. It is for this reason that its existence and future is in their hands. This is the passage of fate and your visions. People live and die at the mercy of Zanza. And through this, Zanza maintains the existence of this world. Our destruction was always inevitable. Everything we did was meaningless. Are you certain? It was his will to revive you and use you as a host. Taking the Monado from Mayneth, doing with the world as he wishes. Everything was as he decided. But why is it that Zanza now wishes to destroy you? What is the need for this? That's because... He in fact has no choice but to do it. If he does not, he risks his entire existence. And we're the source of that risk. But why? It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate. The lives created by Zanza and Mayneth inevitably attempt to escape the passage of fate. This signifies the beginning of their destruction. Mayneth accepted this and entrusted the future of this world to you. Many times, your visions have allowed you to change the passage of fate. You saved the lives of those destined to die. I couldn't save everyone. Nothing that exists is perfect. It is a sad truth, but you can learn from it and begin the journey on a new path. Not Zanza's path, but one that you forge yourselves. Our own path. So, decide, Shulk. Will you walk the path laid out by Zanza? Or will you walk a new path? The Monado awaits you. That was always how it was going to be. If I'd wanted to walk the predetermined path, I wouldn't have come this far. Even with the odds stacked against us, even though I can't see the future, I'll keep walking. My own path, that I decide. Fiora, Rhine, Dunvan, Sharla, Melia, Ricky. We all feel the same. Well then, you must defy fate to succeed. Succeed and follow a new path. Alvis, are you... You already know. You know what I am, and what you must do.
These things don't give up. Ricky never lose. Ricky protect Colony 6. Right. We can't let them get any further. You know the drill. Take them down. Oh, yeah. They are correct. Let us do. All right. So, these Inja Telethia and the Cero Telethia will block our way. And we need to hold out until whatever else happens. So, once again, these are Telethia, so they can indeed inflict Artsy on you. There's also that Cero Telethia that can indeed lock on to you. So, that's helping, also, too. Without a proper topple, we can't necessarily uh, topple them and daze them at the same time. Actually, I think we can. No, we can't. They're just outright immune to topple, so, unfortunately, that's gonna have to be the case for a while. And allow me to say this very fact possible. I think Fiora might be dead here, but yeah, Fiora might be dead. <laughs> Pretty much. And I don't think I can survive this. Not one bit. At least not without him. But we seem to be doing okay for the for the most part. Alright, let's see. We do a mind blast. And Art Seal, awesome. We got it. So, with that being said. Let's go ahead and do another thing right here. And let us do this and that and more of this. Like I've been saying, Melia, excellent damage over time character that we can have at this point in time. But anyway, let's finish them off. If only Shulk was here! We're dead meat without the Monado! Get away from him! Forget about the Monado, kid. More space between Zanza and us, the better. If Ryan's got time to sound off, we must be doing okay. We are doing okay! Ryan is correct! Perhaps we rely too much on the Monado and Shulk. Right. We've chosen to fight the Bionis. We have to manage on our own. <laughs> Look at them struggle. <laughs> if they can't even handle a few Telephia, how do they expect to defeat me? <sighs> this is not the end! Are you okay? I just overdid it. Fiora. I'm okay. I can still fight. Why are you bothering to try and cover it up? Go on, just admit you've had enough. Never! Look out! Bloods of dino beasts! Yeah. It truly seems as though everything is going as Sansa planned. But our hearts and minds, they still hold the will to seize our own destiny. No matter how hard you try to break us, the future is ours to shape, Dixon! Always! When will you learn you have no future? Face it! Your destiny is to die here! Destroy them! 
gone and done now. Time for me to get my hands dirty. Shook, look out! Huh? <sighs> Oi, kid. It's about time for your final lesson. Dixon! Show me what you've got. You think you've got the power to oppose Lord Zadza? Let's see how you do against me. Shulk now has the replica Minato on his side. So, we are going to equip some gems immediately. And I mean immediately onto that. So, about the replica Minato. With it being as not as powerful as the regular Monado was, or rather Zanza's Monado as it is now, uh, it is going to cut Shulk's power. A lot. Basically. <laughs> That's all I can really say about that. And, yeah, it is actually true. With it not being as powerful as the regular, as the Monado, or the, rep the real Monado was, excuse me, um, it is going to cut Shulk's attacking power a lot, so there's that. But, regardless of that, I'm going to equip my usual gems onto him because, well, trust me, I need him a lot. So, either way, the Cerny Telethia right here is up for a rematch. So, of course, it's going to immediately do Soul Read. So, why don't we just go right ahead and purge it right then and there, right here and right now. So, all we really have to worry about is just to chain attack it as much as we possibly can. Maybe even a shield here and there, who knows. Who knows about that indeed. But anyway, we got a chain attack built up. Let's initiate it! So, first of which, let us go at wait, actually, we can topple it. So wait, actually we can't. We maybe try to force topple it, but anyway. Uh Lariat. And then we do spear break. And that's the end of that. Unfortunately. Unfortunate as it may be. But now I'm sensing, yep, yep, do, it's doing its talent art. Killer Dive 5. Fortunately, I was able to shield that just in time, so there's that. And finally, we do an Aura Seal, just in case it decides to up and do that all over again. Now, again, just like with any boss fight with your Nora names playing, the boss fight is automatically awesome. And even against this big old Telethia, it's just really cool. But now it's doing its Killer Shot again. So let's actually do up. I didn't mean to do Monado armor, but okay, let's do a slit edge and backslash and end it. That brat. How could he read my movements? What the hell's going on? Shulk! How'd you do it? I could see it. The future. I don't have the Monado. But it came to me, Ryan. From within. Nice one! Looks like we're back in business. <laughs> Bunch of ingrates. Oi! Stop hiding and get yourself out here. I don't appreciate being left to do all the hard work. Alvis! What? It can't be. Alvis! Not you too! Yeah. Another one of Lord Zanza's faithful. One of the Trinity. No! How can he be one of them? Alvis! Is this the only reason you served under my family? You traitor! Oi! Say something! Shulk! Leave it. It doesn't matter what he is. That doesn't change anything at all. Does it? Alvis! Yes, precisely. You must find your own path. 
to the future. It's Alethia! He's... Fucking just another one of Sansa's lapdogs! Get ready, everyone. Show them no mercy. As you wish. Let us see that will to survive. So at long last, we finally fight Alvis' Telethia. Yeah, remember that Telethia he was speaking to when we first saw him after Unfinished Battle? This is that very Telethia he communicated with. So now we're actually able to fight it, which is very awesome. But what's not so awesome is the fact that, well, here's the thing. One who gets in our, one who gets in our way is a really good song, I'm not going to deny that. But now's the point where it starts to get a little bit overplayed. <laughs> Yeah, now's the point where it actually starts to get a little bit ridiculous, just how often it just plays. So, yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah. Anyway, now we can actually topple this thing, unlike some of the other Telethia that we can top, that we could have toppled. So let's see, do we have our Talon Art? No, we do not. So we are going to do Shaker Edge. I was hoping we would do Monado Cyclone to do the toppling, but, eh, whatever. But at the very least, we can keep it held down longer, and longer, and longer, and longer. Now, just to note, this thing does have a pretty nasty Talon Art, I think. I don't know, but I think it does. But anyway, let's see. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to put up a Monado armor there, but whatever the case. And I don't really get that attack at all. I don't get that attack. It just changes the weather. I don't get it. <laughs> well, as much as I don't like the rain, eh, whatever. Might as well do it up with another chain attack of awesomeness. So, let's do the same story as, you know, the last time. And, uh, I did not mean to do... Uh, yeah. I don't know why. This this whole misclicking aspect, it's just, uh, whatever. But whatever. At least we are done here. That all you got?! Not so tough without your pet, are ya? <laughs> I'll show you the will to survive! <laughs> Meddling kids. I have seen your will to fight. It is time to decide. What do you say? Does this world belong to you? Or to Zanza? Well... <laughs> Either way is good with me. But I wonder what Zanza would say about it. He desires the same. And he sees everything. As you see, Shulk. It's like he says. Get back here! You understand. Don't you, Shulk? Yeah, you can bet on it. We'll be waiting. We'll be on our best behavior. And we will be the best guests you ever had. Ah, that's quite a good comeback. I'm impressed. I'm trembling. Me. Stupid meddling kid. <laughs> After all these years, I never thought the day would come when I would feel fear. Dunban, have you seen Fiora? I have. She said she was going out to get some air. I don't think she went far. Thanks. I'll take a look.
Fiora, here you are. Ah, oh, Shulk. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. It's so peaceful. It's hard to believe that we defeated a horde of Telethia just minutes ago. Sansa wants to finish us all. So we can make the vision he's had come true. We're in the calm before the storm. They'll be back, won't they? The Telethia. To remove us all from this world. I won't let that happen. Whatever the future holds, we can never give in. Not to Zanza. No, not even to our destiny. I wonder why Alvis said what he did. Which part? Does this world belong to us or to Zanza? Why would he side with Zanza? Power? Or maybe he wants to live forever. Who knows? But I don't think his motives are that simple. I'm sure Alvis has some kind of plan. Otherwise, why would he speak to me in my dreams? He spoke to you in your dreams? That's another reason why I have to find Zanza. I have to find out why. You and me both. I must fulfill Maynath's wish. Shulk? You wanted to speak to me about something. Oh, that's right. Lenarda's looking for you. She wants to examine you. She's back at Junks. Oh. Hey, um, can you go ahead? I'll go and see Lenarda in a minute. I need a few minutes to myself. Okay, no problem. Take your time. Oh, thank you. What can I do? If I go to see Leonardo, she'll find out what's happening to my body. I need to come up with a good excuse. Oh, please. Let me be with Shulk just a little bit longer. Zanza is inside the Bionis. I just know it. Dixon must be there as well. Yes, and Alvis too. That's all good, but how do we get to them? If they're inside the Bionis, we're going to need to dig a pretty big hole. How long it take? We can get old soon. It just so happens I have the answer. On the Bionis chest is a massive hole that leads inside. It's the wound made by Agil's final attack. Then that means... Yes. While the Allied force keeps the Telethia busy, you can sneak inside that wound and take out Zanza. We will take junks. Let my father know when you are ready to depart. Yeah! Time to knock some heads! Ricky never lose! For Ricky family, Ricky win! We must show this god our unyielding will to survive. The suffering of my people will not be in vain. The crimes against our friends will not go unpunished. Shulk! Ready. We go to the Bionis chest. We will free our world from Zanza's curse. <laughs> wow. Way to put it simply, Ryan. Uh, you agreeing to free the world from Zanza's curse gets you a level up. <laughs> that, was, that was actually pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. But, yes. Because of Egil's final attack, we now have a way to get into the Bionis. So, we must go ahead and face a god. After some preparations, because this is going to be the very last, and I mean the very last of the side questing, at least for this LP. Because I'm not doing any of the post-game stuff, that thing's too hard. <laughs> right, so. Last, uh, not last, um... One more thing before I do the outro. Think about this. If you finish off uh, Alvis's Telethia, the Sani Telethia, uh, during the daytime, and that switch, that scene automatically switches to nighttime. And you know, Fiora talks about like it's all, it's hard to believe we defeated Telethia a few minutes ago. They're going by Dragon Ball Z rules, <laughs> the rules of time in Dragon Ball Z Land. So anyway, we're all done here. Next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to prepare 
face of God by doing some reconstruction. It's been a very long time. But now we're going to handle some of the last of the reconstruction that Colony 6 has to do. So, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.